hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well so this video is a productive morning routine with me while i am on holiday so I would, it's just going to be a little bit different compared to what i do usually when i'm at school so because i'm on holiday i don't really have much to do so i have a little bit of a laid back morning routine if that kind of makes sense but yeah i'm just going to share it with you what i do and i'll also be sharing with you some tips and tricks on how to ha make your mornings productive so the first thing i do when i wake up in the morning um is just go to the bathroom that's the first time i feel like that's normal for everyone today i woke up at 10 but i literally spent 20 minutes rolling in bed and finally got up so it is currently 10 21 in the morning and the one of the first thing i do is kind of brush my teeth do my face um face routine and just have a shower first and but one thing is that whenever i'm doing my morning routine like when i'm in the bathroom i always listen to my daily bible reading um so i just play it i just leave it playing on on the side so it can just i can just keep listening to it to just set my day all right and sometimes if i don't do that i read my bible first before i go into the bathroom This then brings me to my first tip. The first thing is that make sure when you wake up in the morning, try to set your day right on a positive note. Um, when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I always do, which I have found that it works best for me, is to read my Bible and pray to God. And what I do is that I just kind of like say to God, God, this is another day. You take the will and deal with it for me. Even for any stress going on, anything going to happen that day, I've already put it in God's hand and I believe it's going to help me deal with it. And I've noticed that whenever I do this, if I have any anything that stresses me, anything that makes me upset or troubles me during the day, I find the courage to overcome that certain thing and then my day goes well. So some people just have um, positive quotes on their wall or something positive to read and then the first thing they do in the morning, they breathe that loud to themselves and that kind of sets their deposity and sets their mindset about what they're going to do that day. So it just makes sense that one of the first things I would advise you to do to have a productive morning is to set your day on a positive note. My second tip would be to try your possible best not to look at any other apps on your phone. Of course, you can see me using my phone and the only thing I try to use my phone for is my Bible related stuff. If I'm too sleepy to actually read the physical Bible, so I would definitely pick up my phone and do that. But however, I have deactivated the whole apps on my phone to not work until a certain time of the day. So no matter what, I will be able to see any notifications because if not, I will be so tempted to go into an email to go and check that straight away first thing in the morning. And that will start stressing me out that oh, I need to reply this, I need to do that, I need to do that. And before you know it, you're actually going off your plan for the day. So the best thing is to try your puzzle best not to look at any other social apps, which includes your email, Instagram, anything that is going to make you distracted from what you plan to do that morning. So that's my second tip. Try your puzzle best to not look at any other apps that could distract you from your mindset for what that's for that productive morning. And then the next thing I do have to have a shower is then I then start moisturizing my face, start looking after my face because I've already done the facial part of cleansing my face, deep cleansing my face. Then it's now time for me to start applying all the treatment and moisturizers for my face. Recently, I've just got a lot of breakouts on my face. I know it's not obvious um, and people can see because of the camera, but I'm trying to treat that on so I can have a more smoother face. And that's just what I do. And then I, after focusing on my face and I'm done with that, I then go straight to my hair. Yes, as African people, our hair take a lot of um, maintenance and you have to work on it. So I spend time trying to make sure my hair is well moisturized, has a lot of treatment on it and it's looking nice. I'm ready to go for the day. Also, by the way, these days I'm not putting on makeup because actually I've got nowhere to go and these days I just can't be asked to have a makeup on and it's just, it just feels really natural for me to just have my face breathe for a second so this day i've not been using makeup at all also with the help that no stores is open and i couldn't do anything with my eyebrows so i decided to just go natural 
So that's what I've been doing these days. So after all the body treatments of face, hair and stuff, I then decide to have my breakfast. Um, at this point, I've finished listening to the um, to the Bible, so I just come here, have my breakfast. This morning, I decided to have frosted flakes for breakfast and um, a cup of coffee. That's very, very important for me. I really need to have coffee to kind of help me set my day as well because it's early day, it's easy for me to go back to sleep, so I have to have some coffee to just kind of give me that act to keep my activities going and just set my mind straight a little bit. So that's what I do. This then brings me to my third point, which is make sure you have breakfast. I know I usually say which I'm guilty of but I'm excuse that sometimes I don't have breakfast and I feel like it's just me being lazy because of the fact that I slept so late and I'm trying to catch up on every minute of sleep because it's so important to me and then I end up working so late um, before I get ready it's time to go to school and I only have 15 minutes left to get to campus so I kind of miss breakfast but now that I'm on holiday I'm on holiday I don't see the reason why I should miss breakfast it's a very important meal of the day um, I've had a lot of research and has gone into why breakfast is important and it's kind of help you to it provides you the necessary energy you need for the day and it helps you to set your brain in the right way so you can actually have an effective morning session or effective plan of the day whatever you want to do so that's why i feel like it's very very important to make sure you have breakfast that also helps you to have a productive morning session after making my breakfast, another important thing that I make sure I do because this goes well with me having breakfast is to make sure I have my multivitamins. At the moment, I uh, I have a subscription with uh, um, Vive Wellness and it's kind of like an online um, platform where you fill in questionnaires and then it's kind of recommend the best multivitamins that your body needs for and then they just... Um, they've delivered to you on a monthly basis so it's it's kind of that way um it's really good in less to say that I really eat medications but for me to take this it shows that it actually fits into my routine and I can always have it with my breakfast and something sweet to swallow so that's as well always make sure I have it next to my breakfast because if I forget 
This will then bring me to my fourth tip, which is try to spend some time in quiet. So as you can see, that I'm just a holy one, sitting in the living room, no one is there. I'm having my breakfast quietly, and then to spend my time in quiet, I'm reading something that will make me grow. So you can do so many things to spend your time in quiet. You could actually read your book. Of books that you've had in Canada to read it so many days you can just even read one chapter of it or you can just watch TED talks if you if you have to watch a video watch TED talks watch something that would make you grow so spending some time in quiet will actually help you to meditate and help you to think about yourself and kind of help you to kind of have a deep understanding about where you are where you want to be in the future and how you want to get there so that will be my next point for that. And my last tip for having a productive morning is make sure you you plan or prepare the night before. I can't emphasize this enough. Before you go to bed every day, try to make sure you have you have your plan set for what you have to do the next day. Have that planned out, written down either on your phone or on your journal anywhere that it is easy for you to access and just have it ready and set for the next day this is because this puts your mind to know that oh this is what i need to do and then when you wake up in the morning while you're doing all your routines your mind is there that okay this is what i need to do for the day this is what i need to do i need to do this 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 and this and for me my plan for the day was i need to actually read another chapter of the book i started which is i think it was this book called this is going to hurt i'll put it in the link i'll put the link in the description below if you want to check check out the book and it's just about eugenia doctor talking about um writing stories about his life as a junior doctor so i i plan because one of my goals this summer is to make sure that i finish a book a week so part of my first routine is oh i need to read a chapter of this book this morning and that is even before I check my email. So because I've already had that planned, I know that after my breakfast, after reading all my devotions and everything, the next thing I have to do is to read my books, which is why you saw me that all I did to end my morning routine was to read that book. And I finished reading that book and that ends my morning routine. So thank you so much guys for watching my video this is all my morning routine these are things i do on the tips and tricks i follow to have a productive morning routine especially when i am on holiday because we are on holiday it is easy for you to slack off or just use the whole day to sleep because you don't really have a lot to do but it is also very important to make sure that you have a productive day so many things you couldn't achieve while at school you can do that during the holiday such as learning a new skill such as reading those books you've actually bought and kept in your shop for so long and besides reading books kind of make you grow in your understanding and your knowledge you have more knowledge about what's going on around so it's very very important to make sure that to help to have this routine to help you have a productive day do you have a morning routine that you follow during the holiday if you do please let me know in the comment section below so i can see what you do and what routine you follow for your productive morning routine and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching if this is your first time please do not forget to like this video as it helps me to understand that you like this sort of video subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and i'll see you all in my next video have a good day bye bye